Teeth are the only exposed bones in the body. And just as if a bone breaks, it'll heal, teeth can heal. Holistic Dental is a book written by Nadine Artemis. And Nadine Artemis, she presents some fascinating things. She looks pretty much at what I've looked at here, but she goes a little bit further with the teeth which are the only exposed bone in our body, and they should not be deteriorating. And if they do have a little decay, they have the ability to heal themselves, as every other body tissue does. So why aren't they healing? Maybe they haven't been given the right times, or they have not been given the right conditions. And she calls these two superfluids. So what are your two superfluids? And these two superfluids are constantly bathing the teeth and nourishing the teeth. One is the internal. So the internal, the internal fluid would be your blood and your lymph. And remember what the lymph does, it sweeps away waste from the tissues. And remember what the blood does, it comes along with the nutrition, it comes along with the oxygen, it comes along with the water, the white blood cells. So this internal fluid is bathing from the inside. And your external fluid is your saliva. Now both the internal fluid and the external fluid their quality is totally dependent on fresh air, sunshine, not taking anything in that will harm it, going to bed early, exercising every day, having a nourishing diet, having food that has the quality, the ingredients to build a healthy body, drinking adequate water. If you don't drink adequate water, that saliva does not have the ability to bathe, soothe, nourish and heal. And also trust in divine power. Why trust in divine power? Trust in divine power takes into consideration stress, takes into consideration the spiritual, emotional and mental aspects of disease. Stress inhibits healing. Stress, worry, anxiety interrupts with all body processes and I think that's not a surprise to anyone. So we need to be be sure that our internal and external fluids are of the top quality to allow our teeth to heal. But something else this is causing teeth to deteriorate and that is food caught between the teeth. As one dentist said, only floss the teeth that you want to keep. And I'm going to take your minds way, way back to another lecture where I talk about the true cause of disease. And remember I talked about uh, whenever uh, damage happens, our own microorganisms can change into bacteria and become the cleanup team. Well, when food is caught between the teeth, it basically starts to rot. So what happens then? is what causes it to rot is in that moist environment, you've got so many microbes in your mouth, they're coming along to clean it up. And as the bacteria and the yeast start to break down that food between the teeth, they give off a waste. And that waste has the ability to start eating away at the enamel on the teeth. So make sure after every meal you rinse your mouth. Rinse your mouth very well. You can rinse it with seawater. You can rinse it with a mixture of sodium bicarbonate water and floss those teeth. <laughs> Keep them clean. Wow, won't we save a fortune not having to go to the dentist because you're keeping your teeth clean, especially before you go to sleep at night because by morning, wow, those microorganisms have had a party in there and they've been able to uh, have a lot of food in between those teeth and they also have the ability to damage those, the, the, den the dentine that covers the teeth. So very important to rinse, very important to floss. In fact, the, both of these are even more important than cleaning with a toothbrush, but also oil pull. What's oil pulling? So oil pulling is using coconut oil, it's putting the oil in your mouth and it's swishing. 
swish, swish. You might swish for 10, rest for 10, swish for 10 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. It's called oil pulling because it can pull, pull waste out of the tongue, it can pull waste out of the glands under the tongue, it can pull waste out of the blood vessels under the tongue, and then you release that oil out on the grass. Don't release it down the plug hole or you'll plug up your plumbing. <laughs> and take some water with you and rinse again and release that out. So if, and I'm speaking about dental health here because teeth, a part of the bones. Well, they are bones. So the same thing applies to the teeth as applies to all the bones in your body. Teeth should not be deteriorating and it's expensive business dentistry, isn't it? And remember, if you have a, a little bit of decay, then it's important that you rinse and floss after every meal, that you oil pull maybe a couple of times a day. Just be mindful that keeping that mouth clean will prevent tooth decay and also encourage tooth healing. But the healing of the tooth comes from the superfluids, the internal blood and lymph and the external fluid. And again, their quality is totally dependent on the food you're eating, how much you're drinking, going to bed early. So all of these things. Sugar is one of the worst because you know what sugar does? It just feeds all those little microns that are breaking down the things that are caught between your teeth. So those sugary drinks are particularly damaging to the teeth. One of the best things to eat is an apple. Your teeth and your mouth need crunchy things. So with a refined diet today, there's hardly any crunch, have you noticed? But apples require you to crunch. And when you crunch, that is strengthening the teeth, it is strengthening the jaws, it is strengthening the gums. No wonder the old saying says, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So get used to crunchy things. Every day we should have salad. So at lunchtime, we always have a salad. Celery is particularly good and, and carrots at, at crunching in the mouth. Children love raw carrots. Cucumbers, all of those crunchy foods. They're strengthening the gum, strengthening the teeth, and they are also strengthening the jaws. This explains why breastfeeding is so important for children, because when well, for babies, because when babies breastfeed, it takes a lot of work to get the milk out of the breast. But that hard work that the baby does, it strengthens the jaw. It, for, it causes the roof of the mouth to form properly with that tongue pressing against it. And it gets the, that jaw ready for the teeth to come through. So when you look after your bones, you are also looking after your teeth.